thousands and thousands of people standing behind me, and they've all been waiting for something that's very important to them. It's not a job. It's not health care. It's this. That's right. All those people in what would make a Soviet bread line look like your way for a frappuccino just for a Ken Griffey Jr. bobblehead doll. As U.S. Americans... U.S. Americans... We love free stuff. We also love trying to fill the vast emptiness at the core of our beings with crap. How else would you explain this? I got it at the flea market in Fremont. But nobody needs a donkey party, much less an extra-large donkey party. And nobody needs a Ken Griffey bobblehead, either. But try telling that to the fans who mob Safeco Field. Bobblehead's free for the first 20,000 people. 44,378 people have shown up for him, around twice the average attendance. You do the math. I'm not a baseball fan. Is it difficult for him to play with a head that's oversized like that? Uh, this is actually just a doll. That is an impressive chew you've got in there. Thank you very much. I try my best. I think that's like doubling the size of your head. <laughs> no, I don't think you so. You can have a bobblehead. Tell me what you think about the bobblehead. I know I've got everyone for the last couple of years that they've been uh, giving them out here, and we just, I don't know, collectors at them. But we have to refigure our math, because it quickly became clear that the event was about more than just the strange love of bobbleheads. It was about bobble hoarding. Why do you have a whole suitcase full of bobbleheads? Um, I bought them at the beginning of the season. I bought the tickets for them at the beginning of the season. Why do you want that many? Stop avoiding the question. Uh, well, I've been paying for college, basically. What are you going to do with them? Uh, sell them. Can't you just sell weed like any other guy your age? Uh, that's illegal. Oh, yeah, that's right. That seems really excessive, but why do you have three bobbleheads? Um, my boyfriend's father collects them, so we get at least eight every game. How many does a reasonable man need? Well, he's not a reasonable man, so at least eight. <laughs> so you're upset because they're out of bobblehead? Well, I guess we got here early thinking we could get one, but... Was it for you? No, for our grandson. Oh, you bring the grandkids into it, now I'm going to cry. Well, let me just tell you, my grandmother would have made sure she got me one. What do you think of that? Now you're making me feel really bad. It was time to confront the people responsible for this. Quivering among the wineries of Woodenville is the stronghold of BDA, Inc., the world's largest manufacturer of the bobbleheads. Essentially, you're the head of this operation, correct? Are you calling me the head bobblehead? No, you said that. <laughs> I didn't. Let's just move on. You know, the key thing about it is it, is it really turns people's you know, favorite sports hero and immortalizes them in a way that they weren't accustomed to before. Uh, they're collectible and they stick together, which is real good for like, you know, above the toilet. So it's kind of like a 3D trading card. Trading cards are so popular, but they're a piece of paper. Do you think that's a respectful place to, to place Ken Griffey Jr.? Well, that's a little place I visit a lot and, you know, I get to see it often. So, yeah. This, you get to see what's on the shoe, how their glove fits, what's the size of their bat, and oh, by the way, their head ball. How do you account for the mania I witnessed at the Mariners game? You know, these are collectibles. And, and there's another component, which is, you know, think about the Thai Beanie Babies. When they went hot, you never knew how many were really made. We don't get a problem there. I mean, they were making millions of each of them, but still they were a collector's item. Now, when you go to the Mariner game and you go to Griffey Knight for bobbleheads, there's only 20,000 made, and that's it. Should have had enough with all the people that wants to so there's only one chance to get a bobblehead for free. We might not come to as many games as we did normally. That'll show them, won't it? Ah, ah. You must be aware of the bobble hoarding that goes on at the games and the people whose lives are destroyed because they don't get one. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being, oh well, and 10 being, oh my God, my life is ruined, where, where are you at? Mm, 7. Is there something you can do about this? For the children? Well, for the, for the children, children, I say to the adults, bring your kids early to the game. I've been wondering about the testing process, and I had this image of somebody standing by a conveyor belt when the bobbleheads go by and just going like this <laughs> to them. Is, is that part of the deal? There is actually, believe it or not, a way to test how the bobble bobbles, because you get different head sizes, you could have different spring sizes, you could have different sizes of the bobbles themselves. So if the head's too heavy, it, you, you get a, a droopy head. It's not a bobble head. Yeah, it looks like an addict. And it, right. Ugh. A 
I'm going to run some names by you of people who I think would naturally lend themselves to the bobblehead treatment, and I want you just to tell me what you think. Uh-oh. Courtney Love. She's from Seattle. I can't touch that. For the cast of Celebrity Rehab. Wow. Um, you know, we do baseball bats. We could do some syringes. Me. Oh, I mean, what, what's there to say? It would be one of our best. I want you to thank me for this interview. I will.